We gamers are desensitized to the idea of finality. Perhaps it's due to decades of Final Fantasies. Perhaps it's due to final bosses never really being final bosses. There's always an M. Night Shaman whatever twist, and then you're fighting a 19th century Polish composer for whatever reason. So when R-Type Final threatened to be the final R-Type, closing the book on a classic arcade shoot 'em up saga, not many took notice. It wouldn't even have seen a US release had it not been for the Fresh Games imprint, an Eidos concept that sought to bring some of the more eclectic Japanese titles to the States. As with most great space shooters, the fight is against wave after wave of alien invaders, both in ships and less conventional, more icky forms. In our types case, though, it's not even fair. Humanity created a race of genetically altered weapons in the 26th century to be used as weapons until they gained sentience and escaped from their pocket dimension into the 22nd century, where they're 400 years ahead of the game and raising all kinds of ruckus. As it has been since the arcade days, you jump into your battlecraft, the R9A Arrowhead, and take off to quell a vicious onslaught. Your weapon systems include your standard laser shots, which can be charged up for a larger blast, missiles in various configurations, from homing to air to ground, bits, which flank your ship and provide offensive or defensive support, and a large force orb, which can be mounted either fore or aft on your ship, or flung into oncoming enemies. This orb is a massive energy that can annihilate enemy craft and incoming fire on contact, making it an important part of both your attacking and preventative strategies. There are 10 different missile configurations, a dozen different bits, and 53 different styles of force. The ones you have available to you depend on the ship you choose, and there's plenty of ships to choose. 101, in fact. Just enough to say, over 100 ships to choose from. At the outset, though, you have access to only three. The rest branch off in a tree system requiring passwords, experience, or playtime with prior models in order to innovate and invent their successors. There's also a good bit of fluff here explaining the design and concepts behind each one. Supplementing this data is the Bido Lab section, which gives similar data on the various enemies you'll come across through the game's six-ish stages. I add ish because there's five different versions of the second stage, a third and a half stage if you're using the right ship, and three endings each with their own penultimate level. In addition to the standard trip available in five difficulty settings, R-Type Final also features a combat mode against a customizable AI ship. For those that need practice, there's a score attack mode that allows you to hone your timing and strategy in any level you've unlocked in story mode. A hangar of ten ships allows you to customize the payloads and colors of your favorite spacecraft for easy access if you need to switch between levels. Fitting our jaded mindset, R-Type Final wasn't the final R-Type at all. The PSP has a couple tactical interpretations of the War Against the Bido in the R-Type Command series, while remakes of the original games have been made available in high def on Xbox Live Arcade. That said, there hasn't really been a direct sequel, so in a way, it is the end, beautiful friend. Talk about going out with a bang. <laughs>